Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on your Android phone after using the permroot sauth method. Okay, before we begin, this method is for flashing a custom recovery image and then a custom ROM. Uh, you must have done our how to temp root procedure for your phone and our how to permroot slash sauth procedure for your phone before you proceed to this one. Okay, so now on the phone we're going to go to the market. Search for ROM manager and the free one click install click OK wait for that to install okay then we're gonna click that to open it click OK Okay. okay, and then we're going to click Menu, Settings, click Erase Recovery. This is going to erase the recovery prior to flashing, then Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery, choose your phone, and wait for it to flash. Click allow. Successfully flash, it'll say. Okay, after you flash the clockwork recovery mod, I'm going to hit reboot into recovery. Click OK and wait for that to finish. Okay, after you click that, the phone will eventually reboot into this screen. This is the clockwork mod recovery screen. Um, if it does reboot into a screen with like a little phone in the center with a little red exclamation point, that means it didn't actually stick. So take out the battery, put it back in to get the phone off, turn the phone back on, go back into ROM Manager, hit Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery again, then hit Reboot into Recovery again. Keep doing that until you get this screen instead of the phone with the red exclamation point. Sometimes it takes a few times for it to stick. After that, you have the Clockwork Recovery Mod. You can go to the next step. Okay, so you're going to choose a ROM. You're going to go to the ROM section of our site by clicking on that link. Choose your phone. And then choose whichever ROM you want to load. And then you're going to click on the download link. And look for the download, which is right here and save that to your computer. Now if you're using a CyanogenRom, ROM, remember that you need the Google add-on as well, so download that as well. Okay, wait for those to download. Okay, so once you've downloaded the ROM you want, you're going to plug your phone in via USB, and then mount the SD card so we can transfer files to it and should pop up. Okay, and then we're going to take the ROM file and leave it zipped and copy it over to the root of our SD card. That means not inside any folders, just on the SD card itself. The fact that I'm using a CyanogenRom, ROM, I also have to grab the Google Apps and move those as well. But if any other ROM, you don't have to do that. You just have to move the ROM file. So wait for that to transfer. Okay, now that we have the Clockwork Recovery Mod recovery image on our phone, we're going to scroll down to Backup and Restore, then hit Backup and wait for the phone to back itself up. Okay, once the backup is done, we're going to scroll down to Wipe Data Factory Reset. Wait for it to wipe the data. And then once that's done, we can scroll to Wipe Cache Partition. And then finally, install Zip from SD card. Choose it from SD card, and we're going to look for the ROM that we loaded on here. Mine is right here. And 
select yes, and wait for it to finish installing. Okay, since this is Cyanogen Mod ROM, we need to go back, and we also need to install the Google Apps. So again, choose it from SD card, could ever click it, and install the Google Apps. Now for any other ROM, you won't have to do this step right here. You just install the one ROM. Once it was done, then you can just continue. Okay, once that's done, you can go back by hitting power and then reboot system now and wait for the phone to reboot. Then eventually your phone's going to reboot with your new custom ROM. Enjoy!